Welcome to my name is Elizabeth and welcome back to the Alry. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour. I did a bookshelf tour about a year ago and I wasn't able to like, because I had a webcam at the time, I wasn't able to bring my camera actually up to the bookshelf and pull out each book and let you guys see. It was really difficult process but now that it's been over a year since my last bookshelf tour I feel like it's time for me to do another one I've also almost reached 1500 subscribers and so I feel like you guys deserve that because I know it's very highly requested among my subscribers and so I figured I would I've actually already recorded the bookshelf tour and the angles were just not the best I, I don't have a webcam so I do my best with what I can stacking books on top of furniture and stuff like that so I'm sorry about the angles I'm sorry if it wasn't the best you know way to view my bookshelf but I did the best that I could and I hope you guys enjoyed it so let's get on with the bookshelf tour so on this shelf I have my Luna Lovegood one my pop figurine of Luna Lovegood and one of my many little green Buddhas the glittering court by Rochelle Mead my Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Snow Like Ashes and Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche. Shadow and Bone and Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. On this shelf, I have my Adipose pop figure from Doctor Who. Cinder, Scarlet, Winter, and Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. Flamecaster by Cinda williams Chima, Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard, A Court of Thorns and Roses, and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Moss. On this shelf I have my dragon from Game of Thrones, and another one of my little Buddhas. Legacy of Kings and Empire of Dust by Eleanor Herman. I realize I have all of my Sarah J. Moss books out of order, but... First is The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire, all by Sarah J. Mass. The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. And H2O by Virginia Bergen. Before I move on to this shelf, I do have my Ravenclaw lanyard that usually hangs right about here. The first book is The Star-Touched Queen by Rashani Chachki. The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye. Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. Rook by Sharon Cameron. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, The Novice by Taryn Matharu, The Selection, The Elite, The One, The Air, and The Crown, all by Kira Cass. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, First Life by Gina Showalter, Ivory and Bone by Julie Eshbaugh, Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong, Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes, Ruined by Amy Tintera, Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi. Right here I have my little statue of Ganesh, Falling Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness, A Book of Spirit and Thieves, and The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes. The Last of the Fire Drakes by Farah Umbari, Seeker by Arwen Ells Dayton, The Merchant of Death, The Lost City of Far, The Reality Bug, The Never War, Black Water, The Rivers of Zadah, The Quillen Games, The Pilgrims of Rain, Raven Rise, and The Soldiers of Hala, all by D.J. McHale in the Pendragon series. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, all by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. And The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. On this shelf here, I actually have quite a few things. So I have a sign that my brother got me that says Be Unique. I have one of the Owl Crate things. I've got a poster that Chloe gave to me that has 365 Days of YA. I've got this little thing that has like all my bookmarks in it. Um, and then back here are just some like extra books that I didn't want on my shelf that I kind of used just for you know having you know space and stuff like that. And then I have my Owl. Um, who's my little Owlry mascot. I've got another Buddha. I've got a picture of me and my husband. And I have my fairy. Wicked, the life and times of the Wicked Witch of the West. Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister. And Son of a Witch, all by Gregory, Gregory Maguire. Illuminae and Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Graceling and Fire by Christian Kishore. Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutowski. 
Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, and Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Steve Otter. Between the Lines by Jody Picot, With Malice by Eileen Cook, The Darkest Minds and Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken, Splintered and Ensnared by A.G. Howard, Catalyst by Lydia Kang, Legend by Marie Lu, Mechanica by Betsy Cornwell, and Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Lux by Anna Godverson, Dune by Carrie Corp and Laurie Langdon, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, Beastly and Cloaked by Alex Flynn, The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson, Armada by Ernest Klein, The Tree of Water by Elizabeth Hayden, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, Reckless Magic by Rachel Higginson, Mortal Gods by Kendar Blake. All of these over here are my individual comic issues, but I will show you the bind-ups that I have. The first one is Rat Queens by Rock Up Church and Curtis J. Weib. Rat Queens Volume 2 by Curtis J. Weib and Rock Up Church. Sex Criminals Volume 1 by Matt Fraction and Chip Zardsky. Low Volume 1 by Rick Remender. And Black Science by Rick Remender. These are a bunch of my husband's books, but I'll show them to you really quick. This one is um, The Last Wish, which is the book form of The Witcher video game by Andrzej Sapkowski. The Cimmerillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. Dragons of Autumn Twilight by Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman. This is The Assassin's Apprentice that does not have a cover. On Writing, The Shining, The Dark Tower, The Drawing of the Three, Wizard and Glass, The Wastelands, The Wolves of Kala, Songs of Susanna, the Dark Tower, The Wind Through the Keyhole, and It, all by Stephen King. Here are all of my adult fantasies. The first one I have is Dragonflight by Anne McCaffrey, The Elfstones of Shannara by Terry Brooks, Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, The Time of Contempt by Andrzej Sapkowski, Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien and Christopher Tolkien, Bind Up of the First Three Lord of the Rings books by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Crimson Campaign and Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan, the Name of the Wind and the Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. The Blood King by Gail Z. Martin. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. And then the rest of the books over here, I have all of the Song of Ice and Fire series, but I'm not going to pull them out because I'm sure you know what they look like. On my last shelf, I have Red Rising by Pierce Brown. The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. Rebel Angels. The Sweet Bar Thing. And A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, Shadow Study by Maria V. Snyder, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, Black Hearts by Man Nicole Kasterman, Eon by Allison Goodman, Divergent by Veronica Roth, The Neverland Wars by Audrey Greathouse, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and Eldest by Christopher Paolini. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The only book that I, the only shelf that I did a tour of was this big shelf. Um, but if you guys want to see a tour of my little shelf that has like my paranormal and my contemporary and my historical and my classic and um, some of my husband's science fiction and some of my middle grade as well, if you guys want to see a video of those books, let me know down in the comments below and I'll do that sometime soon. I just wanted to show you guys all of my young adult books, all of my favorite books that I keep on this shelf um, because I feel like it's what's most relevant to my channel and what I talk about most of the time. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!